for now. It's time for a look at a developing story with Renita Young, senior markets correspondent for the network. So we're actually not veering too far off because one of the names we're looking at today, Renita, is NVIDIA at all time highs, but the story is really meta. And I like looking at these two names together because they were one and two in the S&P 500's performance yeah. in 2023. Yes, but briefly, I need to comment on your last segment because the conversation, the broader one around AI leadership has taken a little bit of a shift. And while we all can agree that NVIDIA is the undisputed leader of AI, others, according to analysts, are rising to the top. I'll have a little bit more on that in a moment. But today, NVIDIA still the clear leader, reaching a new all-time high because Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta, says that he plans to acquire over 350,000 AI graphics cards from NVIDIA by the end of this year. That's billions of dollars worth of NVIDIA H100 graphics cards, and they're the fastest AI GPUs that NVIDIA has. Zuckerberg gave an AI update yesterday on Instagram. He said that Meta wants to combine two of its major AI research efforts, that's FAIR and Gen AI. And now Meta is training its next gen model, Llama 3 and they want to build a massive computing infrastructure out over the next few years. And so they need those 350,000 H100 chips to be able to support these efforts and the future computing efforts that it'll have. But overall, Zuckerberg says that the long-term vision is to do a few things, build a general intelligence, open source IT responsibility, and then make it widely available so that everybody can benefit from it. They also want to build out a massive computing infrastructure to be able to support its future roadmap into these AI developments. And they're also building a new AI-centric computing device. Other devices, the most recent to come, the next to come, will be Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. And this just shows also the powerful, the how powerful NVIDIA's chips are. These are the most powerful in chips NVIDIA has. They're well-suited to be able to support this type of computing. And that's why they're in such high demand, you know. JMP Securities, when we look at responses to this latest announcement, they say that they wanted to raise the price target on Meta. It went to $410 from $380, maintaining a market outperform rating. And that's in response also to this situation. Wells Fargo is responding by changing its price target on NVIDIA. They said that NVIDIA is the clear beneficiary of Meta's AI trade right now, Meta's AI development that it gave yesterday and moreover he called Zuckerberg's update a sign of the continued positive validation that the AI infrastructure build out could remain or gives this this in its early innings. Raymond James raised the price target on Nvidia to $700 from $600 maintaining a strong buy but Citigroup here's the interesting one they say Nvidia is no longer its top chip stock pick. It's now number two. They say Marvell is Citigroup's top pick right now. And they say that they see the potential for shares to move higher on growth on the AI optics market, plus a few other things. But if we go back to share price action, no doubt NVIDIA close to, or at a new all-time high today. And NVIDIA is up more than 250% over the past 12 months, up around 18% this month alone. Then Meta shares now up just a couple of dollars off of that all-time high that it hit or a few dollars off of the all-time high that it hit back in 2021 and then up more than 180 percent over the past 12 months both meta and video strong on today's announcement top chip stock pick i mean say that five times that <laughs> that was like all my concentration just to get that out right the first time so Really interesting story and two names that are powerhouses for the overall markets. Appreciate the breakdown as always. Renita Young, Senior Markets Correspondent here for the network.